Hi folks, I thought I'd show with you my little treasure trove. I have a uh, fellow in Moncton, New Brunswick that uh, he's a lumber dealer, but not normal one. Mm -hmm. Not that he's not normal, but what he carries isn't normal. So the only thing he carries on a regular basis is usually pine, <coughs> but he often has uh, one-offs. Somebody will order something and then it won't be the right color or whatever. So I happened to go up there on Saturday and I got a lot of good stuff. Show you my, show you what I got. This is stuff that we use a lot of. We use it for uh, when we're teaching dovetail class. We use it for making stuff. It's northern white pine, and it's clear. And I, I absolutely love this wood. It's light. It's warm to the touch. It cuts beautifully. It planes beautifully. It's just uh, my absolute favorite wood. And I've said before, it ages better than any other wood. If you have a house full of kids and your furniture is going to get beat up, this stuff actually looks okay with uh, marks and dings in it. So I got brought home a bunch of 1x10s. It's nice that it's already milled and uh, you know exactly what you're looking for. Or you know exactly what you've got when you're going through the pile. Unlike rough lumber, which you've got to put all the effort into uh, milling it first. So I got a bunch of that. Not that that's anything in particular, but... I also picked up the SM5 quarter, and this is beautiful stuff too. And this is really expensive when they start getting into thicker pieces, but clear northern white. I bought a bunch of four-quarter maple. Now I normally buy my lumber rough because from the time it, you uh, process it, it's going to twist and whatever. So meaning if you buy surfaced material and you buy it at 13 sixteenths chances are you're not going to be able to get it flat and still get three quarters. But he had a bunch of this stuff which is uh, surface plane at, and it's down to only seven eighths or seven eighths. So you still have an eighth of an inch in order to flatten it out which is nice because as I said you can go through the pile and you can get exactly what you want without having to surface everything and do the work yourself. I picked up uh, some eight quarter birch, got a pretty good price on it. We use this for making dovetail markers. I picked up a fair bit of that. I got a piece of um, quarter sawn sapili. Now the reason I bought this was hopefully to be able to make some winding sticks. So it's nice straight grain stuff and as I said quarter sawn so it should be good and stable. But here's the real treasure. Uh, David I want you to come in nice and close on this. This is five quarter bird's eye. Five quarter is a great find because this I can use to make my handle so I'm not worried about stuff like that. As you can see, $175 for this one piece. But, and it's got really, really big eyes. So if you look over here, this is normal, normally what you find. And look at the size of the eyes on this. Now, it's going to have to be, uh, we're going to have to be careful in the way we do it to lay it out. You want to get as many eyes as possible. And when you're talking about a saw handle, you don't have a whole lot of surface area. So that, that stuff is polluted from one end to the other. Now, I'll show you some of the other pieces. Here's uh, the problem when you buy a piece of bird's eye, usually, is you're only going to get really heavy, dense bird's eye on part of it. So, on this particular piece, from about here to here, it's you know, you can imagine a handle coming out of that. That'll be awesome. And I'll get oh, I get one here, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six really, really good handles. And uh, bird's eyes are fairly prominent on the back side too. That's another problem. Often you get it on one, but you don't get it on the other side. But this one's more typical of bird's eyes, smaller eyes. But see how nice and polluted that is? That that's, this is a really good piece. I can get a handle out of any from end to end. And uh, now, this is heartwood, and there's some rot in here. But I'm using small pieces, so I can work around that. I'll lose some of that, but... We'll still get quite a bit. And it's nice to have that color too because uh, it just adds to the mix. Here's another piece that has the rather large eyes. Now this is not quite as heavy. There's an area in here where there's not much at all, but still it'll be uh, it'll make for an interesting group of saws. Got one on the bottom. Oh yeah, here's another one. Again, lots of we had to go through, Jake, or, uh, Rex and I were up there, we had to go through the pile and he let us, but we have found some great stuff. There's another big wide one on the bottom. 
I, I don't think I've ever seen eyes this big on a board. Now on the very bottom I have a piece of thermal whatever they call it but what they've done is they heat this uh, the wood up in an oxygen free environment so it essentially burns it without consuming it. Now I've never liked it because it weakens the wood but my friend Arnold who sold me this stuff says that the guys that are doing this he said they must do something differently he says because I've been quite happy working it and he's a woodworker himself. But look at the uh, look at this end see how if you get if you get uh, Dave try seeing it from my side come over, come over here and, and look down that way and you really can see so I've never done one out of this it'll be a real uh, It'll be a fun time. But you just look down that piece. I, I get stuff like this and it just I can't cut into it because I keep thinking oh, I gotta save that for something better, but this is gonna be saws. I can see a really pretty uh, match set. A dovetail out of the uh, out of the cook stuff and a cross cut out of the white stuff. Really nice. I got a little bit more over here. It's not bad, I think I spent about two thousand dollars. There's another piece of the uh, of the cooked stuff. You can see it better on that side, and that's uh, that's almost eight quarter. No, six. And that's got some good bird's eye in it. And here's a piece of eight that's that's really polluted. I mean, you got to handle out of here. You're going to have a bird's eye on. You literally have bird's eyes touching bird's eyes. Really good stuff. There's some more of that large eye. I don't even know if he charged me for these small pieces. Might have. I would have gladly paid for it. So bird's eye is not nearly as uh, scarce as some people are led to believe. He had lots of it. I, I didn't buy. I didn't buy as much as I should have. Anyway. So that's it. We'll let you see the. We'll uh, show you the handles as soon as we get them done. Especially that one with that cook stuff. See you later.